what's going on welcome back to another episode of double m racing welcome to all our uh, friends and family out there that uh, keep up with us it's been a while as you can see the uh, legend car is still starting to become a part stacker oh. i got got lettering off all the graphics are off um haven't started the body work yet um but today we're going to start getting some of the got to get that cut out of there and get the new one put in and get all this reattached try to get that straightened up as much as possible start start getting this thing pieced back together we are uh we're going to be selling it i got to get it part pieced back together to sell because we bought uh-oh, I bought a new race car. Oh. We found a deal, I found a deal. Couldn't turn down. Uh, we're gonna be racing Midwest mods now. So this is, this is the new girl. She's an older, older Dirtworks chassis. Uh, I believe it's a Dirtworks 8 chassis. Um, doesn't necessarily mean 2008, uh, so there's no telling. This is probably early 2000s, maybe late 90s, uh, is what the chassis was. But, uh, she's got some good parts on her. She's got some good bones. Uh, but this is what, this is what we're going to be racing now. It's, it's got some, it's got some work that needs to be done to it. On the inside everything looks looks good in there came with a with an engine everything turnkey it's got a it's got a 350 in there so we are we are stepping up quite a bit from from where we were at but uh it's gonna go into the into kelly's shop kelly's the one that did all the uh welding for us on the late on the legend car in the last video series when we wrecked it last time uh he used to race modifieds he used to be he's he's the sole reason i wanted to get into modifieds ever since i was little because i used to be his his pit man i would go scrape the mud off his car after he was done racing and uh, his family really uh put the joy of racing into my life they're the ones that introduced it to me um so it's going to be quite the honor to have Kelly come in, uh, help me out with this modified. We're going to rebuild the nose. It's all crumpled up. Uh, paint the bumper. I got to get that painted, flip it around, put it back on. New sheet metal. I probably won't replace. I mean, it needs new sheet metal on the on the decking. You can see how it's crumpled up there. But uh, I don't think I'm going to replace that sheet metal this year. Um, now there's a better angle of it. It's all crumpled up. I'm not going to replace that sheet metal this year. I will probably this winter do a complete uh, reskin of the whole car and uh, spend money on getting it wrapped and stuff like that. So, uh, but we'll get this out on the track probably, hopefully within the next month will be our goal. So that is the direction that uh, that the racing career is going. I've got parts in here stacking up for it. We're putting the valance all the way underneath it, under the metal once I get the new metal on. That's all for the modified. That up there is for the modified. That's new rivets and uh, switching everything to black rivets on it. Uh, some nuts and bolts, fuel pressure gauge line. Um, so that is the direction we're going. We have decided to, to get out of Legends cars. Um, Number number one, just because, I mean, it hurts to wreck these things. <laughs> it hurts bad to get into wrecking these things. Uh, number two, modifieds are, are really where we were going to wind up down the road, anyways. Uh, we got into Legends uh, for the for the daughter um, was the initial goal, and then the wife really wasn't comfortable with her racing them after we seen how fast these things really are. These are these are the third third or fourth fastest cars out on the track um, in our class or where we live at so uh, 
this thing is probably every bit as fast as that modified out there uh, when you're looking at lap times. So uh, that, it hurts to wreck them. Um, and the wife is just not, she's not comfortable with me racing the legend again just because of the, I mean, it really doesn't take a lot to, to flip these. There's been my two flips and I think two other flips this year just in our area. Um, and they're pretty violent flips. So, uh, if those wrecks that I had have happened, uh, the, the circumstances of those wrecks would have happened in the modified car, I don't think they would have resulted in a, in a flip. Um, I would have broken, you know, maybe a wheel or, or something like that, but definitely wouldn't have resulted in, in these things flipping. So, just for uh, the wife's peace of mind, it's it's always been my dream to race a modified. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and take the plunge. So fixing this thing up uh, right now as it sits just in the scrap heap, I've got I've got some parts in for it. Um, you know the cross member for your steering steering box and all the brackets for that's in the lollipop there. It's in. Um, I could not find that front firewall piece so that's going to get straightened and welded back on um, and then once we get all that stuff put back on tonight then later on this week i'll start the frame rail i got this i got the uh, shock tower straightened up so it's it's straight again we'll get that welded on and then uh, i've got the engine going out this week to get the uh, rear tab welded back onto it. Uh, Kelly thinks he can do that for me. So uh, we'll get that welded back on there and start getting this thing put back together and list her for sale. But as it as it sits now, you know, she's worth about 3,500 bucks would be my guess. Um, you know, the engines are worth anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 uh, used. And then, then, the, then the chassis and stuff and the wheels and tires I've got. You know, it's coming with seven wheels and tires. Um, it, and it's got a couple extra upgrades. You know, this has got the wheel wood brakes on it. It's got the top head cooling fans. I've still got to find the oil cooler from, because that one's bent. But everything else I should have. So, oh, and then a fender and running board and stuff like that for the other side. But, uh, yep, that's where we're sitting. So, uh I'll put you on a time lapse. I'm gonna get to uh, grinding some of this stuff off. Oh, we got brake lines too. We're putting all new brakes on this thing. So I'll get you guys on a time lapse and we'll start getting some of this junk moved out of the way. Uh, get the body pulled off of it and get to grinding, cutting, and uh, hopefully welding on some new parts here.
apologize. I thought I hit the uh, time lapse on the last portion there, but I guess I failed to do that. So uh, I've got everything that I'm gonna get done tonight done. I got the front piece back on here. It's all welded back up. And again, if you watch the past videos, all I've got is a flux core, flux core welder, but it got them on there. He got them on there good enough. There's Mike. Mike would be disappointed. Kelly would be disappointed in my welds, but they are solid as a rock. I got the lollipop mounted back on. Um, what I did on that was I measured measured this side from the top of the uh, where the bolt goes in to the top of that. Came over here, uh, same measurement, top of that to the top of that. Uh, made that the same measurement as that. And then as far as the angle in, um, I just kind of eyeballed it off of that one. Uh, it's a heim joint that connects on there. So I'm not extremely, uh, extremely worried about, about the angle, even if it's just a little bit off, it should be close enough to get everything done. So um, I came in, Got a side plate, side plate put back in and put the fuel tube, connected it back there, back up to here and back on to the transmission hoop. So, or the drive shaft hoop. So, like I said, none of this is, is structural um, as far as this area goes. So I wasn't too extremely worried about making everything perfect i just wanted it strong and this thing's this thing's solid as a rock she's uh she is not going nowhere she will hold the firewall up just fine and that's all that part's meant to do uh the, the part down there the lollipop i mean i did a, a really good weld on that um it was hard to weld the small stuff that's like a little tiny tubing especially with what i've got so um that's gonna be a wrap on tonight's video. Uh, I should be getting the frame rails, which will go there and there. Um, should be picking those up this week. Um, Mike McCormick's got those that he's gonna let me have. Um, so I'll go get those picked up and uh, we'll get those welded on, start putting all the cross members in, getting this front end wrapped up and we can start piecing this car back together. So uh, appreciate you guys sticking along through this. If you've made it this far, um, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one.